Nogi's is the top spot for vegetarians seeking seafood alternatives in Tamarindo. If you're a sushi lover looking for a relaxed dining experience, Bamboo Sushi Club and Wabi Sabi Sushi are your go-to options. If you want seafood options in a family-friendly atmosphere, consider El Pelicano Restaurant for an ideal dining experience. My husband loves seafood, but I lean more toward Mexican cuisine. So when we visited Tamarindo, Costa Rica last year, he wanted to visit as many seafood restaurants and try out as many of their seafood specialties as he could. So we researched and read some reviews online to discover some of the best seafood restaurants in the area. Key takeaways. One, best for vegetarians. No guis. Dos, best for families. El Pelicano Restaurante and Cala Luna Origen. Three, Bamboo Sushi Club and Wabi Sabi Sushi have the best sushi. Four, best for couples. Dragonfly Bar and Grill and Cala Luna Origin. Five, best for casual dining. Wabi Sabi Sushi and Nogui's. Seis, El Pelicano Restaurante and Wabi Sabi Sushi are the best for budgets. In the rest of this video, we'll delve into various seafood dining options in Tamarindo, ranging from budget-friendly to luxurious fine dining experiences. I'll provide insights into the cost and my personal dining experiences at each establishment, allowing you to determine which best suits your preferences and budget. Dragonfly Bar and Nant Grill, location, behind Hotel Pasatiempo, Nhandrum, behind Hotel Pasatiempo, on Hundrum, just past Pizzeria La Baula, just before Bolas Locas Mini Golf, Tamarindo, Finkfio 3, Santo Nive, Costa Rica. Cuisines, international, grill, fusion, seafood, Central American, vegan options, gluten-free options. Website, www.dragonflybarandgrill.com. The Dragonfly Barn and Grill in Tamarindo offers a variety of international, grill, fusion, seafood, healthy and Central American cuisines with vegan and gluten-free diet options. It's behind Hotel Pasatiempo, just past Pizzeria La Baula and before Bolas Locas Mini Golf. I recommended you make a reservation beforehand, as my husband and I didn't know and wish we had. We had a delightful dinner at Dragonfly. It's an open-air restaurant, which I prefer, but it can get a bit warm sometimes. The waitstaff was knowledgeable and friendly. Everything was delicious, from the empanada appetizers to the Thai beef, mutton, seafood linguine, and curry chicken. The quality of the food was outstanding, and the portions were generous. The drinks were also fantastic, with a great selection of mixed drinks. My husband usually prefers beer, but he enjoyed trying some mixed drinks. I particularly loved the espresso martini. The atmosphere was relaxed, and there was even live music. One drawback is that the food at Dragonfly is quite expensive compared to other places. They also serve very large portions, which we found hard to finish. To avoid food waste, it would be helpful if they offered smaller portions or informed diners about the large servings. Overall, we felt that the meal was quite pricey. Dragonfly may not be the best choice if you're looking for a quiet romantic dinner or are on a budget. It's probably better suited for adults dining without children. What I liked. 1. The diverse menu offers various cuisines, including delicious seafood options. 2. The friendly staff provided exceptional service. 3. The enjoyable ambience and live music create a relaxed atmosphere. 4. Impressive selection of mixed drinks. What I didn't like. 1. The high prices of the dishes. 2. The large portion sizes led to difficulty finishing meals and resulted in food waste. Panga's Beach Club. Location. In front of El Tesoro, Tamarindo, 50309 Costa Rica, meters southwest of Automercado, Hink Santos. Cuisines, American, seafood, Central American, Costa Rican, international, vegetarian friendly, vegan options, gluten free options. Website, pangasbeachclubcurb.com. The Pangas Beach Club has a restaurant offering a range of cuisines, including American, seafood, healthy, Central American, Costa Rican, and international with options for vegetarian, vegan, and gluten-free diets. You need to make reservations in advance. The restaurant has a fantastic setting and atmosphere. It is located at the far north end of the beach. The ambience is top-notch, offering beautiful sunset views and occasional monkey sightings. The drinks, particularly the Wahoo Carpaccio, were really good. While the service was friendly, it was a bit slow, and the servers seemed lacking in knowledge about the food and wines. While some dishes, such as the mahi-mahi, showcased perfect cooking and fresh flavors, others, such as the beef dish, were tough and the seafood platter, although overly oily, retained its flavor. Despite being busy, the crowd was pleasant and not overwhelming. Overall, while the location is beautiful, the food quality was average. What I liked. 1. They had lots of different types of food to choose from. 2. The place was beautiful and had a nice atmosphere. We even saw monkeys. 3. The drinks were creative and tasted great. 
what I didn't like, one, the service was slow and the servers weren't very attentive, two, some of the food wasn't very good and was a bit hit or miss, three, the servers didn't seem to know much about the menu or the drinks, four, even though the place was nice, the experience was not as good as it could have been. Nogi's, location, south side of Tamarindo Circle, Tamarindo, Costa Rica. Cuisines, American, bar, seafood, Central American, Costa Rican, vegetarian friendly, vegan options, gluten-free options. This restaurant offers a variety of American, seafood, Central American, and Costa Rican cuisines. They also have options for vegetarians, vegans, and those with gluten-free diets. They serve breakfast, lunch, dinner, brunch, late night meals and drinks. The food here is great, especially for vegans and vegetarians. The prices are affordable and the location is convenient. The portions are large. The fried red snapper I tried was exceptional and the servings were generous. However, there was an issue with loud music from a local parked nearby, which disrupted our meal. Although the police eventually intervened, it would have been better if the restaurant staff had addressed the situation sooner. Despite this, the restaurant offers a variety of dishes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, including traditional Costa Rican food, fresh fish, and burgers. I enjoyed the vegan options, such as the burger and cassado, as well as the vegan pineapple tart for dessert. However, their food was quite expensive, and the service was slow. What I liked, one, they had a lot of food choices, including options for vegetarians. Two, the restaurant was easy to get to. Three, the food portions were big, and I enjoyed dishes like the fried red snapper and the vegan options. What I didn't like. 1. Our meal was disrupted by loud music from a nearby local. 2. Their food prices were rising too much. 3. The service was slow. Langosta Beach Club. Location. Meters North Hotel Capitan Suizo, 200. Tamarindo, 5309 Costa Rica. Cuisines. Seafood. Central American. Costa Rican. Vegetarian friendly. Vegan options gluten-free options. Website, www.langostabeachclub.com. The Wyndham Hotel and this beach club make a fantastic combination. We decided to try the day pass option at Langosta Beach Club. However, the pool area we paid to access was small, with limited loungers, most of which were already taken or reserved. The cabanas also looked nice, but they were all reserved. The only option left was the beach, which had some seating for the restaurant and a few beach loungers, but no sun umbrellas. After a while, we had to move to a shaded table in the restaurant because of the intense sun and strong wind. It turned out that anyone could access the restaurant area while ordering food or drinks. Since all the pool loungers and cabanas were taken, our 150-day pass felt pointless as we spent the day in the public area. So, unless you can reserve a cabana or get there early to grab one of the few poolside loungers, I'd suggest skipping the day pass. Just go to the beach, sit at a table, and order food and drinks like everyone else. The restaurant was decent, albeit a bit pricey, but the food served on the sand made it worth it. The service is okay, but don't expect it to be quick. The food is delicious and the staff are attentive. The pool and other facilities are clean. It's a great spot for a happy hour while watching the sunset. Overall, Langosta Beach Club offers fantastic food and drinks with stunning views. The place is small but well-kept. Plus, the prices are fair compared to other places on Tamarindo Beach. What I liked, one, I enjoyed the beautiful views and being right by the beach at Langosta Beach Club. Two, the food and drinks were delicious and served in various areas like the pool, bar, and beach. Three, everything was clean, especially the pool, which was nice to relax in. Four, the prices were fair compared to other places nearby. What I didn't like, one, it was hard to find a spot by the pool or get a cabana, even though we paid for a day pass. Two, there wasn't much shade on the beach, which made it uncomfortable in the hot sun. Palapa Restaurant. Location, Tamarindo Main Street, Tamarindo, 20 mir before the circle, beachside, Tamarindo Finquimiu Tres Onive, Costa Rica. Cuisines, Caribbean, Latin, bar, seafood, Central American, Costa Rican, vegetarian friendly, vegan options, gluten-free options. Website, www.palapacker.com. This restaurant offers a mix of Caribbean, Latin, seafood, Central American, and Costa Rican cuisines, with options for vegetarians, vegans, and gluten-free diets. I wasn't sure what to expect when our tour guide suggested this place, but it exceeded my expectations. The staff were personable, professional, and always smiling. The food was excellent. We tried the surf and turf, chicken tacos, and chicken curry, all of which were delicious. We dined on the beach with my chair in the sand. The portions were incredibly generous, 
especially the ceviche and grilled lobster with red snapper. The plate was huge, with three fresh lobster tails and a whole red snapper, all seasoned beautifully with garlic butter on the side. Unlike anything I'd seen before, we also enjoyed a unique fire dance on the beach, along with a great mariachi band. It's a great spot for dinner or drinks with friends right on the sand. While the food is of good quality, the prices are slightly higher due to the location. However, the nightly fire dance show and lively ambience make it worth having a casual dinner with friends. However, it was the most expensive meal in Tamarindo, and some dishes seemed less fresh than expected. What I liked, one, the staff were friendly and professional, always with a smile. Two, the food was excellent. Three, dining right on the beach was a one-of-a-kind experience with my chair in the sand. Four, the beach fire dance and mariachi band were entertaining and added to the ambience. Five, it's a great spot for dinner or drinks with friends with incredible views and happy hour specials all day long. What I didn't like. One, the prices were higher compared to other places. Bamboo Sushi Club, location, Pamses After Diria Hotel on the Main Street, 20 Tamarindo, Guanacaste, Tamarindo, Thinkimui Treinsunave, Costa Rica. Cuisines, Japanese, seafood, sushi, Asian, Japanese fusion, vegetarian friendly, vegan options, gluten-free options. Website, www.bamboosushiclub.com. We had a fantastic late lunch at Bamboo Sushi Club, where they offer a diverse range of Japanese, seafood, sushi, and Asian fusion dishes, with options for vegetarians, vegans, and gluten-free diets. While there are many restaurants in Tamarindo, Bamboo stood out for its fair pricing and exceptional service. However, the only downside was the painfully slow service. It took us 40 minutes to get our drinks and 45 minutes to get our food. It seemed like there wasn't enough staff. The sushi and drinks were outstanding, although the restaurant was quite hot, even with fans running. Unfortunately, the bathroom smelled unpleasant, detracting from the overall experience. What I liked, one, the atmosphere was cozy and it seemed like many regulars enjoyed eating there. Two, the food looked beautiful and tasted great, especially the sushi and sushi tacos. What I didn't like, one, the service was really slow. Two, the restaurant was too hot, even with fans on. Three, the bathroom had a bad smell, which wasn't pleasant. El Pelicano Restaurante, location, Calle Central Hotel, Tamarindo Diria, Tamarindo, Costa Rica. Cuisines, international, seafood, Central American, Costa Rican, vegetarian friendly, vegan options, gluten-free options. This spot in the heart of Tamarindo offers a great ambience and a diverse selection of cuisines, including international, seafood, healthy Central American and Costa Rican, with options for special diets like vegetarian friendly, vegan, and gluten-free options. The servers are friendly. We even received a free ticket to the gelato place across the street Despite being on a busy main street, the restaurant has attractive decor and comfortable seating. We tried the grilled fish, which was perfectly seasoned and well-prepared. The staff is welcoming, and the outdoor dining area is elegant and comfortable. They have a fun cocktail list and a great selection of wines. There's something for everyone on the menu, and we've always enjoyed the fish dishes. Surprisingly, the prices are lower than expected for the area. Although we've never felt rushed, the service is attentive, and we recommend making a reservation. The Pelicano stands out as the nicest spot with the most wonderful staff. The food was excellent, especially the ceviche, which was our best. The tuna tartar comes in a close second. While the fried snapper isn't large, it's tasty, and the lobster tails are also good. The seafood pasta is yummy, but the risotto might be too much for a main course. The overcooked steak and excessive sweet sauce on the shrimp made the surf and turf dish our least favorite. What I liked, one, the ambience at this tamarindo spot was great. Two, the servers were friendly. Three, the outdoor dining area was comfortable and elegant. Four, they had a good selection of cocktails and wines. Five, the prices were surprisingly low for the area. What I didn't like, one, the surf and turf dish was a letdown with overcooked steak and too much sweet sauce on the shrimp. Ocean restaurant and beach lounge. Location, 250 mil al sur del hotel. Diria, tamarindo. Costa Rica. Cuisines, seafood, Mediterranean, Costa Rican, vegan options. When my husband and I visited this restaurant, we found a variety of cuisines available, including seafood, Mediterranean, and Costa Rican, with vegan options. The atmosphere was pleasant, and while the food was acceptable, the service left much to be desired, especially considering the restaurant was only half full. 
It's located on the beachfront in Tamarindo, and the experience was average. The drinks were watered down. However, I did enjoy the octopus and margarita pizza, though a missing dish and inattentive service dampened the experience. Despite the stunning sunset views, the atmosphere became overrun by bugs after dark. While the sunset was worth experiencing, I wouldn't recommend the food or drinks due to their poor quality and high prices. Additionally, the unpleasant odors from sewage detracted from the beachside dining experience. What I liked, one, I liked that they had different kinds of food, like seafood, Mediterranean, and Costa Rican, as well as vegan options. Two, the place was nice, and I enjoyed watching the sunset. What I didn't like, one, the drinks were weak and didn't taste like they should. Two, the service wasn't good. Three, some of the food was just okay and it was expensive. Four, there was a bad smell from the sewage, which made it hard to enjoy eating there. Cala Luna Origen. Location, Playa Tamarindo Cala Luna Hotel. Tamarindo Simu 309, Costa Rica. Cuisines, seafood, international, fusion, Costa Rican, vegetarian friendly, vegan options, gluten-free options. This place is perfect for families and couples, offering amazing seafood like shrimp, oysters, and perfectly cooked steak. They also have a wide range of desserts, making it very kid-friendly. The chef is engaging, explaining each dish thoughtfully, prepared with fresh, locally sourced ingredients. The flavors are outstanding and unique, leaving you wanting to return for more. The presentation of dishes and cocktails adds to the overall experience. The food is delicious and creative, with a fusion of world cuisines using Costa Rican ingredients and techniques. The staff is accommodating and understanding of allergies, making it a great choice even for those not staying at the hotel. It's a romantic and beautiful experience to dine with dim lights and wonderful music. The chef even surprised us with a vegan dessert, despite having only sorbet available. The ambience and food are top-notch, with an organic and farm-to-table approach. The food was outstanding, complemented by a great atmosphere, beautiful music, and exceptional service. The staff was incredibly kind and attentive throughout my visit. I particularly enjoyed the gnocchi, which was delicious. Their farm-to-table concept, using organically grown ingredients, added to the experience, and simply being inside the Cala Luna Hotel was a treat. However, the experience was a bit mixed for me during our second visit. While the service was friendly, presenting a limited menu was a surprise. The waiter rushed through the first two courses. Despite my request to slow down, the overall pacing was off. The fish dish was enjoyable, but the turkey and vegetarian options were bland, with the turkey being dry. The dessert was a redeeming aspect though. What I liked, one, the food was amazing with fresh ingredients and delicious flavors. Two, the atmosphere was great with beautiful music and exceptional service. Three, I especially enjoyed the gnocchi. Four, the farm to table concept made it even more special. What I didn't like, one, the menu was limited. Two, the vegetarian options were bland and disappointing. Wabi Sabi Sushi, location, Centro Commercial Esmeralda, Frente ao Hotel Tamrindo Jiria, Tamarindo, 1900 Costa Rica. Cuisines, Japanese, seafood, sushi, Asian. There are options that are vegetarian friendly, vegan, and gluten free. Website, www.wabisabicurp.com. At this restaurant, you'll find a delightful array of Japanese, seafood, sushi, and Asian dishes, catering to various dietary preferences like vegetarian friendly, vegan, and gluten free options. I was thoroughly impressed by the freshness and quality of the made to order sushi, the superb gyoza, and the wide variety of rolls available. The atmosphere was casual and inviting, complemented by the friendly service. My overall sushi experience exceeded expectations, with exceptionally fresh fish in a cozy setting away from the hustle and bustle of more touristy spots. One standout dish for me was the salmon poke bowl, which showcased exquisite flavors thanks to the skilled chef's in meticulous preparation. Booking reservations through the app was a breeze, and the freshly made dishes were definitely worth the visit. They offer a good selection of vegan options, which are just as delicious as their non-vegan counterparts. The staff are accommodating. Despite any initial doubts about sushi in the area, I was pleasantly surprised by the top-notch food quality. Standout rolls like spicy tuna and tico rolls left a lasting impression, especially considering their affordability compared to similar offerings elsewhere. The fresh avocado, a staple in Costa Rica, provided a delightful contrast to the spicy flavors. What I liked, one, the sushi here was amazing. It's made fresh to order. Two, the service was super friendly, which made the experience even better. Three, the atmosphere was nice and relaxed, perfect for enjoying a meal. What I didn't like, 
One, honestly, there wasn't much I didn't like.